Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Clay Ramage back again with another Goodwill Bins haul. My wife and I went this morning and had a good time. It was fun. We uh, got to meet some new people and uh, we got to meet Kim. Thank you Kim for coming up and introducing yourself and Lori which we met before at the Bins and of course Brad was there too. So hi Brad. Um, but yeah so it was a good time. Um, we uh, Found some good stuff, nothing overly exciting. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about that as we go. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I've had a number of them over the last week, which I really appreciate. And um, I'm so grateful for that, grateful for the support as we continue to work on growing this channel little by little. And that's okay, we like it. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into this haul. I got quite a few smaller things and a couple big things. So. Um, I'll just do a couple of the big things to get them out of the way. One of the things I found was this wooden candle holder. This is Scandinavian style, which is very common up here. It's dated 1992 on the bottom. Um, but yeah, these wooden candlestick holders are, are great and they sell really well down at the Pink Elephant. So I will put that down there. Um, unless, you know, one of you guys are interested and then we can list it on eBay and we can ship it to you. But anyway, let me know. So send me an email. Emails down in the contact information. Um, the other thing I picked up was this metal picture frame. This is a dual frame, no inserts, just the frame, but it's got the little stand on the back, which is also metal, which is really nice. Uh, it's not stamped anywhere as far as where it was made. I don't believe it's an Italian one, um, but it's still a nice frame. And I lot these up, usually three, four, five at a time, and uh, sell them on eBay, and they sell really quickly. So. I just did a lot a couple days ago and it sold the next day. So that's what we like. And usually anywhere between $20 to $35 I list them as. So it's good quick money and that's what we like. So we picked up this. It's a little frog magnifying glass. We picked this up for my mother-in-law because she loves frogs and magnifying glasses are always useful. It needs a good clean. It's kind of dirty as you can see. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so that'll be fun set that up there so I remember to take it home and then I picked up uh, a couple Aruba postcards that were in there there are four of them two of them are the same and there's that one so and again postcards I put down the pink elephant for a dollar each and they sell not very fast but they sell so and again I, I'm really not paying anything for them at the bins because they weigh so light they don't change the scale at all so it's not like I'm having to pay extra for them. Um, I found this. It's a Longa Burger recipe cards. Um, whole pack of them. It, it is open. Somebody taped them, but I don't believe they've been used. And in fact, I don't have my scissors in here. I was going to cut this open. Let me see what's in my drawer. Come on. Oh, no scissors in the drawer. But anyway, um, because some of these, like the holiday-themed ones, the Harvest, uh, go for good money. Oh, this tape pulls off fairly easily, so it's just scotch tape. I just wanted to take a quick look. And even if they're not... Oh, they are. Look at that. They're the Harvest. So these actually sell for um, pretty good money, considering they're just the cards. I'll have to count and see if all of them are still here or not. But uh, Longaburger made recipe baskets, and these cards are designed specifically to go in there. They have the tabs, um, and you can use them either as different recipe tabs or as ABCs. So uh, those are pretty cool. So should be able to get 15 to $20 for this pack of cards, which I was kind of surprised, but looking at eBay, and I might make it $12.99 um, just to move them quickly. I saw this, I thought it was really cute it's a coat hanger picture frame so you can put a picture in there and uh, hang your coats on it it's not marked um, it's modern but I just thought it was really cute I'll put that down at the pink elephant it's a cute thing now this was kind of surprising take a guess yep holly hobby piece um, not the yellow or the blue so I, this is not an official holly hobby piece but in that style and on the back it's called it's stamped Karen's workshop Chatsworth California 
But what's interesting is it's still wrapped in the original plastic. It was never unwrapped and hung on the wall. So for all intents and purposes, you could say it's brand new. Um, so that's kind of cool. Some of the flowers have deteriorated and fallen off. Sorry, the ring light's reflecting there. Um, but still, it's very cute, isn't it? So somebody could take the plastic off and display that. Nice little vintage piece. Okay, so since we're on wall hangings, picked up this. Um, I'm drawing a blank on the style of painting. Rose mailing. Rose modeling, however you want to say it. Um, so yeah, pick that up. Again, these sell well down with the pink elephant because we're in a high um, Scandinavian population area. Um, and then I picked up this plate. This is a pine wood plate with a uh, lady slipper uh, carved into it, like with wood, wood burning, and then it was stained these different colors, which I thought was really cool. And it's stamped on the back, 1986. Karen Partridge is the one who did it. So I just thought it was a cool handmade piece. Again, pink elephant. <laughs> a lot of those small things I put down with the pink elephant. But then these two um, I found at the bins too. Uh, it's a set of these two, you know, classical figures, two women with cherubs. Um, and these are made by Home Co. 1974. So I thought those were pretty cool. So these I'll probably put on eBay because they're light. They're a little large, but still, they won't cost that much to ship. And I just don't have that much room at the Pink Elephant for pictures or hanging items anymore. I have so much of it. So um, so we'll do that. All right. I'm trying to decide what else. Recipe book. Vintage recipe book from 1950-something. 1956. That's what I thought. That's the year my parents got married. It's a good year. So it's Tempting Low Calorie Recipes from the Culinary Arts Institute. So I thought it was hilarious. So, you know, we've always been looking for low calorie food for many, many years. That's all that proved to me. Uh, so yeah, I picked up a number of books and uh, uh, CDs and stuff today. Picked this up again. I don't, I haven't looked it up. I don't know if it's worth much, but it's a gamer's instruction booklet on how to, you know, beat the different levels. Sometimes those can be worth some good money. Uh, it was $20 new, so, um, again, I don't know. I picked these up. I saw these at a garage sale one time, but they were asking too much money for them. So I saw these at the um, Goodwill bins, which you pay 29 cents an inch for books and CDs and DVDs. And these are called the I Survived series by Scholastic Books. And so I picked up four of these you're going to pay probably 50 cents for all four of them. Um, just because I thought, I, I love those kind of stories, so I might read them all first and then <laughs> put them up for sale. Um, this is one Cindy got for herself, Emotional Intelligence 2.0. Um, I think she already has that, so she might be thinking of giving that to someone. Anyway, um, but we found this, eight CDs. It's the 700 Years of Classical Treasures complete history of classical music and it's a in a, a booklet in that sleeve and then in the booklet are the cds which tell what time period and the different um uh, compositions from that time period which when i was taking uh, music um, in college, that was one of the things we had to do was listen to it and then identify the time period based on the different stylistic um, techniques of the author. So yeah, fun. So that kind of brought back memories. Um, and uh, this set of Little Pim Foreign Language and Fun uh, Learning CDs. It's interesting. This says discs one, two, three, but inside is three, six, four. <laughs> so there you go one or the other um and i picked this one up only because it was signed it says um by wendy waldman this is her cd um it says to maureen and then she signed here but the interesting thing is maureen is in a different pen than wendy's signature so i don't know what that means it's similar maybe it's just faded enough but i thought well an autographed copy i'll pick it up and then picked up this little house on the prairie 
um, season eight, and then there's a special collector's edition um, five DVD set. So, and these are brand new, still sealed. Um, the season eight goes for like $10, and I thought, well, maybe with that special edition on there, I could get 15 to 20 out of the set. And again, 75 cents. So I was willing to take the risk for that little money. Saw this little vintage Christmas stocking, whoops. Um, and this is fairly old. It's, it's worn and uh, it's an old rusty wire. It was used to hang it, not a normal Christmas thing. So this was probably some grandma's ornament some, at some point. Anyway, so that was fun. Trying not to pick up too much Christmas stuff because I have tons of it already, but sometimes you just can't resist, right? Um, we, Cindy found these. These are a pair of Minnesota earrings. So I said, sure, we can do that. These are marked sterling silver, non-tarnishing sterling silver, handcrafted in Finlayson, Minnesota. That's a lady slipper too. Now, isn't that interesting? That plate was a lady slipper and these earrings are a lady slipper. I think we have a theme for t some of today's finds, the local Minnesota finds at least. Um, and then we found the, one of these Matryoshka dolls. And we had her open. There we go. I didn't look to see how many are in here. Should be four or five. I think this is the should be the five set. There's number three. There's number four. There's number five. We got them all. Sweet. So that's a good find. We again, I these sell well down at the Pink Elephant. I've even sold them on eBay when they're. I put them out as a lot when I don't have all the figures. Um, and they've sold well that way too. So, so yeah, this one doesn't have a label or mark on it, but look at that face. Isn't that a cute face? I think so. Um, and then this is my future project. I saw this in the bins and I thought, oh, that is just too cute. So that I'm like, there has to be a top somewhere. So I dug through the bins till I found the top. So now I have to glue that back together. But now it's complete. And that I think is one of the things with the bins that I kind of get wrapped up in because <laughs> I see broken stuff and I want to put it together. I'm like, no, it's broken and it's too precious to be broken in the bin. So I'm going to pull it out and do it. Found this brass candlestick. Now, the reason I picked this up, I've been, I have, I sell brass candlesticks periodically. But this one is made in England. I've never seen one that says made in England. So that's the reason I picked this one up. It's all by its lonesome, but it's, it's a good lonesome one. And then I picked up this little jewelry box. And the reason I did is because it's a ring box and I could use this when I'm displaying rings. I didn't have a, I have another one, but it doesn't work very well. This one will work much better either at the pink elephant or at flea markets or anywhere I want to display rings individually. So, and it's nice and small and compact and easy to transport. So that was another reason. Um, I found this mask, it's a Batman mask, but it's got this stitch work all over it. And I'm sure some of the Batman fans will know exactly what episode this may have come from. Stated 1992 DC Comics. Um, and I said, well, with Halloween coming up, Good time to have those kinds of items in the store. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more of these before I get into that. So, found two Hurley, Hurley, Gurley candles. Gurley as in G-U-R-L-E-Y, the company. Um, Rudolph, this one still has this tag on the bottom, Young Rudolph, the reindeer. He's got some paint loss and stuff, but he's still really cute. And then there's the Angel, 15 cents, and she's actually in really good shape. She's missing her wick, though. Um, but yeah, these are not the kind you burn anyway. They're just wonderful decoration things. So I'm not sure what I would do with those if I'll list those on eBay or put them out the pink elephant. Probably the pink elephant, but we'll see. Uh, Hot Wheels car, actually Matchbox. This is Kellogg's Raisin brand. I used to have all four of these trucks that they put out for the cereal. They were sold through Avon. 
and uh, I sold them years ago. But we did find some others. We found a little Mini Cooper. Um, so yeah, this is meant to you know, represent the old Mini Coops. I sell a lot of these uh, car models down at the uh, Pink Elephant. So that's where that will probably go. And speaking of car models, this one I found in the bins as well. So I was excited about it is missing the middle of the engine. It is missing the front, probably radiator or something there. And it's missing the door handle on this side. But I still sell these at the Pink Elephant for 15 to $20 in damaged condition. Now, if they were in excellent condition, I'd sell them on eBay um, and probably get more. But even in this condition, I sell them well. And I think it may have had a had a front cover, but that's a great color. And I'm sure somebody will uh, pick that up pretty quickly. All right, so now we... <laughs> I had to pick up this guitar case and, and it's just a um it says guitar makers suck uk so i don't know exactly what that means but um and then on the front it says diamonds and denim delta vacations diamond so i don't exactly know what it was originally used for but we thought it was cool so i put all the little little items in there look at this vintage doorbell with the with the suit of armor guy um it's got some paint that's what that discoloration is is paint on it so i can clean that off and uh sell him he'll need to be probably uh, rewired but it's a ge doorbell so that's pretty cool um cindy found a couple of watches this is a rumors watch not worth anything um but again i put all these watches in a big lot now this is a guest watch, Japanese movement. Um, so I just lot them up and sell them as a big lot for usually anywhere from the average is a one to two dollars per watch in the lot. So if they have 50 watches, I'll list anywhere from 80 to 100 dollars for the lot, and uh, do well that way. So, um, so I try never to pay more than you know a dollar for a watch usually end up getting them at the bins for 25 cents so and at garage sales too found this bracelet little christmas bell bracelet i would call it so fun little find let's see found this little bracelet um again it's kind of a tennis style bracelet rhinestones Found some bits and pieces of jewelry. Found a little Christmas ornament, handmade. Um, found a shamrock pin. Now, what's interesting is um, St. Patrick's Day stuff is harder to find than the other holidays. So anytime I see it, I pick it up just because it's hard to find. And then um, the uh, this is the little story I have I um, they were just um, changing out the bins and so Cindy and I got in line and we were ready to um, um, we were waiting for them to take them out and so I went up to the one that was still there and uh, there was a big cardboard box in there and inside was a metal baking pan and then just just a little crumpled piece of jewelry so I grabbed it and right away it's sterling on the back and it's called a sterling forget-me-not um, and there's one of these exact same bra bracelets and this one has one name on it and it's M Magdalene Magdalene um, so these were meant to be engraved people's names that you want to remember on them so there's only one name engraved on this one so far um, but there's a, this exact same bracelet with other names on it sold for $48 on eBay just recently. So that was a, a great find. So I just have one more thing, and this is the biggest thing we got. And that is, and this has a story to go with it too, all right? 
So this is a bun coffee maker. So electronics at our bins is 99 cents. So I paid 99 cents for this bun coffee maker. Um, last week, Cindy was at a garage sale without me, and that's great. Um, but they had a free box full of bun carafes, um, multiple styles and versions of them. So we, uh, um, yeah, so we, uh, when I saw this today, I was like, oh, I'm going to buy this for 99 cents, check and see if it works, because I, I already have a carafe for it, and then I can list it on Facebook Marketplace and sell it for like 20 bucks or whatever, and only have invested a dollar. So I'll look up and see what they go for, but, um, but yeah, what a great find. Can't complain about that, that's for sure. But that's our haul for today. Um, I'll be having a uh, thrift store haul coming up soon too. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time.